Aston Sunny Group, CEO of United Capital, prepares to hand over the helm at the investment bank that she's run for four years. She joins us to reflect on Nigeria's capital and equities markets and to give an outlook for the country's economy and, it, and its market in the second half of the year. Tony, thank you for taking the time out to join us today. Thank you. You're you've welcome. Been, you've been in this market for quite a while and you've you know, been through different cycles, market cycles. Looking back in the last four, even beyond four years, what would you say has been the most significant event, market event for you? Okay, for me, in terms of the general market, in itself, terms of, especially in terms of personally. market development, how this market has grown. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Well, obviously, one of the most remarkable de uh, developments in recent times was the recession, and of course, the rebound from the recession. Um, obviously, Nigeria's recovery from recession was one of the quickest um, recorded, and um, for me, it was. Um, a symbol of our responsiveness and the ability of Nigeria to take the necessary actions to essentially pull ourselves out of the hole that we found ourselves in. So if I want to look back at the last four years, I mean, what I will be talking about was the fact that we were able to come out of recession um, pretty quickly. So when I was reading earlier, it said that you had spent in general, 12 years at United Capital and four years at, as CEO of United Capital and over 25 years in Nigeria's investment space. Now, I'm just wondering, what are you going to be doing next? I know that you're not, going, you're not quite going to be leaving investing soon or the market soon. What are you going to be doing next? Okay. Um, you will permit me um, not to be too detailed because as of today, I am still the group CEO of United Capital PLC. But I will say to you that um, I have a passion to develop our market. I have a passion to impact on um, the lives of Nigerians. I have a passion to um, improve the access to finance situation. And whatever you find me doing going forward will be related to that. Thank you very much. So, I'd like to hear your thoughts on current market trends. We've seen that the OSHA index uh, basically just wipe out the gains we saw from earlier in the year. Now we're at mid-year, and analysts are not so optimistic, especially since we're moving closer to that election cycle. But, I mean, as an investment uh, manager, what are you telling your clients now in terms of how they should maneuver this market to get the best value? Well... I will tell my clients that a play in an emerging market like Nigeria is always a long-term play. It's not a 100-meter dash. So from a medium to long-term perspective, I have um, significant confidence in Nigeria as an economy and in our market. At the same time, um, definitely we must accept that we are, like you have said, approaching the election cycle period. and. Um, election um, political decisions may impact on um, may impact adversely on the market in the short term so essentially i would say to clients that they should be cautious they should hold on to the good investments that they already have this is not the time to uh, make any um, risky short-term play and as the first half of the year draws to a close, and we start the second half of the year, I believe, on Monday, what is your outlook for Nigeria's economic uh, growth and macroeconomy generally in that half? I think that our market will continue to grow modestly, even in the second half of the year. Um, I think that the impact of a lot of the reforms that this administration has been involved in is still being felt in the market. Um, I also know that we are benefiting from the overall favorable um, oil price regime on the international side. And so if there is no significant drop in oil prices, I think we will hold our own in the short term. There continues to be growth even in the non-oil sector. Um, and I think that growth will be sustained.